Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 16 in my top 30 Southern Rock album countdown that we're doing all throughout the month of June here in 2022. 30 days of June. My 30 favorite Southern Rock albums of all time. This one, most of you probably assumed and knew that it was coming at some point, as are a couple from this particular band. We saw one already a couple days ago. This particular one released uh, April 15th, 1974 for MCA Records, produced by Al Cooper. Of course, we're talking about the second album, the sophomore album from Leonard Skinner's Second Helping. There it is right there, boys and girls. Yeah, a good one. You know, as are all of those 70s albums from the Skinnerd. From the boys from down south, Ronnie Van Zant lead vocals, Gary Rosington on guitars, Alan Collins on guitars, Ed King on guitars. That's right, we've got the three guitar attack reigning supreme on this album. Ed King also plays a little bit of bass, does some backing vocals. Leon Wilkerson also on bass, right? except for the tracks that Ed King plays bass on, Bob Burns on drums, and Billy Powell on keyboards. Mike Porter also shows up on drums on one track. He got some uh, folks showing up on backing vocals and little things here and there. Uh, yeah, a great album from the Skinner Boys, and probably maybe their most southern-sounding album? I don't know. <clears throat> kind of hard to say. I listened to this album, and this album, to me, uh, out of all of their classic-era albums, really exemplifies that whole kind of, like, blues meets boogie meets country thing going on down there. You know, the hard rock as well. Uh, of course, it starts off with Sweet Home Alabama, probably next to Freebird, their most well-known and popular song. Really well-constructed song, right? I probably never need to hear it again. I've just I've I've kind of lost interest in Sweet Home Alabama a long time ago, but I don't deny the greatness of it. Uh, I Need You is a great song, nearly seven minutes, just this kind of more kind of moody, atmospheric, gritty rock track with some really great guitars from the three guys, and a really underrated song on this album. Uh, don't Ask Me No Questions, another great up tempo kind of boogie southern rocker, like that one quite a bit. You know, working for MCA. One of the classic tracks from this band, one of my favorite tracks from this band, you know, Work for MCA is definitely a top 10 Skinner song of all time. Great, great song. Great hard rocking song. Hard Southern, great Southern hard rock classic. You know, when you talk about like some of the heavier songs or more hard rocking songs of the Southern rock genre, and you know, that goes across bands like Skinner and Blackfoot and Molly Hatchet and Point Blank and so on and so forth. Uh, Work for MCA kind of ranks pretty high up there. Great song. That's the last one that ends. The last song that ends. Side one, the original vinyl. Uh, you got kicking off side two, you got the Ballad of Curtis Lowe which is more of a kind of rootsy, bluesy, acoustic country type thing. Very swampy. Um, yeah, just a, a typical, again, like you, you'd picture like a bunch of dudes sitting there in the corner of a, you know, a little rural street in, in, uh, out in the, you know, out in the backwoods of Florida or Georgia or something like that, people just sitting around with acoustic guitars and just shooting the shit and uh, you know singing a little songs and that, that you 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 imagine you could hear that on a street corner somewhere. It's very very rootsy urban type of thing, very southern. Um, that the the essence of Leonard Skinner, it's, as this whole album is. Uh, swamp music is up next. Speaking of swamp, swamp music is awesome, right? Bluesy, kind of grimy, just uh, fun, fun, fun track. Again, the guitars are all over the place on that one. Uh, kind of funky, too, right? Swamp music, kind of funky. Uh, then you got The Needle and the Spoon, another unsung gem from this album. Another very, very, very great Leonard Skinner song. Uh, I don't know if Needle and the Spoon is a top ten for me, but it's it's if it's not, it's just outside of that. Uh, Needle and the Spoon, great, got a great guitar like dun, 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 just great guitar work on this whole album. And then of course you got Call Me the Breeze. Everybody knows Call Me the Breeze, right? That is that is a absolute Southern boogie classic. So catchy, 
nifty little guitar licks flying about all in there. Got, uh, I mean, Ronnie Van Zant was such a unique singer. He had that kind of just that 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 southern drawl and that snarling delivery. I mean, just not a great singer, like from a technical perspective, but everything he did was so good and so original. So you could call it, he's great. You know, I'm more talking about kind of like his, uh, you know, does he have a classic voice, rock and roll voice? Not really, but that was that's what was so great about him. He was so unique and that made him so effective. Uh, and that's why he will always be considered one of the greats of all time, just because of all that. And, you know, a really cool front man. You know, he just had that menacing look, the way he prowled around on stage, you know, usually with the hat and no shoes and just kind of leering out at the audience and just kind of walking around like the, 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 the cat ready to be let out of the cage, right? The tiger, ready, the big cat ready to be let out of the cage. Uh, and you always knew that uh, Ronnie Van Zant didn't take no shit from nobody. You could just tell, right? If you didn't know the guy, sure, we've all heard stories all all throughout the years. But, I mean, you just you look at him and you're like, yeah, that's a guy. You don't mess with that dude, right? So, yeah, great album here. Uh, it's Again, all of these early Skinner albums are absolute classics for a reason. Uh, here's the guys in the band right there. Don't they look like a bunch of fun-loving dudes that you'd want to bring home to meet your parents, right? <laughs> Lance Skinner's second helping uh, is my pick for today. Uh, number, what are we at? 16? 17? I, I've lost count. What is this? I don't, I don't even remember. Anyway, yeah, this is day 16. Yeah, so pick number 16, right? As we march our way through to number one. Uh, as you can probably guess, you'll be see, you'll be seeing and hearing more about Leonard Skinner on this list as we get closer to number one. So uh, stay tuned. Let us know what you think of Second Helping in the comments below, as well as list your pick for today, your pick number 16. And uh, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Stay tuned. we got some uh, new album reviews coming up for you today. we got uh, a brand new uh, Nectar live album from the Vault. It's kind of like a reissue. Uh, new Seventh Wonder. New Aristocrats. I'm not sure if I'll get to much more than that, but... Uh, We'll see. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. I am P. Pardo. Visit us on the web. I think I did all that. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. We also have links below, below to our uh, Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page and our webzine. All that's listed below. So you got lots to check out. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning with another of my top 30 Southern Rock album picks coming at you first thing in the morning. Until then, I am Pete Pardo. Have a good one, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you later. Bye-bye.